Shish! Okay. Okay, hello. <laughs> what up, Norrisville? This is Jose and the Pussycats, here with... Lion, or Namakon, <laughs> hi, what's up? And this is the Randy Dandy Ninja Show. <laughs> and actually, uh, for full disclosure, I, we had another one recorded before this, but I never got around to editing it and putting it up, so this it'll be like the lost episode, I guess, which is episode two. <laughs> and we gotta hurry, because this laptop has limited battery power. Oh, okay, we'll make it- Shish! It was <laughs> only 15 minutes, but what a 15 minutes it was! <laughs> We finally got to see the fear-pooping rhino. <laughs> and confirmed that it was really more of a fear-farting rhino. We all stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> Including the episode guide. <laughs> like, that makes it any better, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was really wondering how it was going to work, too, because I'm like, well, it, will it, like, manufacture, like, a 3D printer? Will it, like, manufacture a little robot of whatever they're afraid of? No, it, it was like primordial ooze or something. It, yeah, it manifested the actual thing. Like, I don't know how it did. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still like laughing because of the whole episode. Because it, uh, it's, beforehand, I was sitting there thinking about it like, okay, there's so many ways that this could go. They, I mean, <laughs> I mean fears are something that's. That could be either serious or taken not seriously. And I was like, oh, well, it's, it's no, fear no, no, pooping. No, 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 I knew it was going to be not seriously. Like, I don't know if you saw this. I made a post about this way back when I first noticed the episode was going to air. And it was uh-huh. like, ooh, this is an interesting chance to explore, like, these various psychological, like, fears. Yeah. And then I was like, nah, it's probably going to be, like, a giant turkey or something. And it was honking. <laughs> It's giant rooster. I, I honking. I learned so much about chickens today. Oh God, hold on. Are you okay? <laughs> My parents are getting mad. I was shouting. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess I win some kind of points in Ninja Show Jeopardy here for knowing there'd be a giant like barn fowl. Okay. Okay. So, Carp Week is not that off, because they find a random thing to celebrate. I know! But it was like Chicken Week or whatever! Meow? We did Carp, meow you did Carp Week, no, you're Chicken Week. What the heck is Meow Madness? What? <laughs> Howard's favorite event. Howard's favorite animal-themed event. Which is kind of confusing, because what do you eat during Meow Madness? I'm so sad! Don't think about that too hard. Holy Carp Week, that's amazing! <laughs> um, no... <laughs> Okay, when I figured out Randy's fear, I was so angry. <laughs> I was so mad. But it, cool. Why are you mad? I, I don't know. It was, it's just, it fits so, I don't know. <laughs> it fits so well. Like, obviously Randy would be afraid of chickens. That's like the gross, like, Randy thing. I don't know. And then he's like... What was he saying about how their eyes are just blank? There, like, there's nothing inside. Nothing inside. Have you ever looked at a chicken's eyes? <laughs> there's nothing there. Yet he knows so much about them. They have more bones he in does. their neck. That was my favorite thing. He, like, knew all these chicken facts. Like, <laughs> more bones in their neck when a giraffe. It was so effective. I'm like, ew, that is gross. It is. He was passing his fear on to me. And then, like, thing that's like, oh... Oh no, that's right, the longest sustained flight for a rooster is 13 seconds! I was like, oh my god! Randy, son, if you just applied yourself in school, Please. you could be an A student! You really could be an A student! And no, I'm mad at the Nomicon for this literal, literal advice. Embrace oh god, your embrace fear! Your fear. Embrace your fear. Actually embracing me, the fear. God. The Nomicon, you know... <laughs> it's Joel McHale. What do you... It is Joel like, McHale. No. Oh, God. See, that just gives context to every <laughs> jerk thing the Nomicon does. I'm a, I'm deliberately avoiding activating the collar here so I don't have to um <clears throat> do any editing. Uh, oh, good. Save time. Awesome. Huh? I don't know if that was directed yeah, for me. No. I... No, it wasn't. I was just saying, like, I, I wanted to curse there, but I, I made myself not, because then I would have to edit it, and that would take more time. Anyway, I, I took notes on all the things 
that I reacted to. <laughs> I did too. Did you? You said you would. I did. I, I but in all caps. Oh basically my god. Me yelling at everything. <laughs> <laughs> Saying, I just. Oh, okay. Uh, the one time I actually screamed was Bucky Spear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's so specific. It was so... A minotaur playing smooth jazz. No, with with what with a few. I don't know. Horn. Is that like with a fugal horn? <laughs> Is that like a marching band kid fear? Like smooth jazz? I, was, I don't I know. No idea. The jazz band rivals. I I, I was oh. in band, but no. I mean, he's a triangle player. I don't know why he's so so afraid. <laughs> that was probably one of the best fears. No, no, everybody. A hint towards. Miss Wienerman. Hi, fear. Oh, right. Hi, fear. That was, I think that was probably the most interesting yeah, that fear. Was, like, yeah. the only one that really, like, gave any, like, in, like knowledge about the character and their various yeah. conflicts. Like, I mean, Heidi's got this, she's beautiful and perfect and you're smart or whatever. And then her fear is to become her mother, who is <sighs> Miss Wienerman. I don't know, I don't know but what we saw. <laughs> she's, she's, a, she's a foxy lady, apparently, <laughs> as we can see. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, that was really interesting. I don't really know how much... They're very slowly doling out information on the conspicuously absent parents of these children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, the first moment I... The first thing I wrote down was, I get to throw the first nugget. Oh, God. I'm so... <laughs> I really liked Bash in this episode. <laughs> I like Bash in every episode. <laughs> It's not just that he's stupid, but, like, he has this bizarre way of really, speaking. I love it. Like, at the end, when he was like, oh, God, what did he say? At the end, he was like, here you go, sweetheart. And he, like, throws, what was he trying to throw the nugget in? What was she holding, like, a hot dog bun? It looked like <laughs> a hot dog roll. <laughs> Maybe it was a napkin. I don't know. But, like, who's a chicken nugget and a hot dog roll? No, I really do love how Bash talks, like, previous episode. It's like, my Eden circles. Your Eden circles? Like, love- that's beyond stupid. You're just strange, I Bash. I love you. Okay. Let's see. What else? Uh, I, yeah. Uh, I just wrote yeah. Bucky in all caps. And then, no, um, Hannibal Spear. Clowns? What? Clowns? No. Okay, clowns. No. See, Hannibal's... All right. Viceroy's was actually interesting. Uh, so mm. he had a bully in childhood. Yeah. And you wonder, like, how, what influence that might have had, like, I don't know, on his becoming a supervillain. Like, I'm just imagining Baby Viceroy being bullied and he builds, like, a potato flinging cannon and, and, or, like, rubber band gun or whatever. To... I know. Oh, my gosh. And then it just keeps happening and then he gets accepted oh, yeah. into the evil scientist college yeah, and then it just, you know, it just goes from there. Oh, this town. But, yeah, yeah, that was an interesting fear as well, wasn't it? And even the episode kind of, um, who said uh, it was a cheap oh gag? Oh, my God, I feel like that That's must have been a reference to, like, the episode itself. Like, I can't believe we're writing this episode. <laughs> It's like, it seems like a cheap gag, doesn't it? It kind of reminds me of, like, I don't know if you've watched South Park or whatever, but there was an episode which was, like, uh, they the conclusion was about, like, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy or whatever, and it's, like, crab, they were crab people from the underground, like, caverns or whatever. It turned out. And then in a different episode, a later one, there's, like, the characters themselves were trying to write a conclusion to, to their story, and they're like, well, what about crab people? And they're like, what? Crab people? They're yeah. such a cop out. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. I love it. Yeah, what do you so mean? It was, like, it was like that. <laughs> Matt and Trey do, like, reference to themselves writing a lot, so that's yeah, pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, love that. Show. Okay, flute girls. Okay, I love show, flute show. girls thing. Oh, my. She's a freak. Do- I'll see you at the Donna's. I don't see you for another two weeks. <laughs> she, she had a good one. Good. Yeah, I liked hers. Um, I was, oh gosh, I don't understand Julian's fear. The dog that was judging him with the sunglasses. <laughs> Obviously, he's a com- combined fear of dogs and people looking at him while wearing tinted lenses. <laughs> and judging him. Yeah, apparently. well, I'm judging him. I always judge Julian. I really don't like Julian. I mean, he drug a giant throne into the cafeteria. What does he expect? Judges I don't harshly. understand. Which is, doesn't, doesn't, uh, no, Stevens, I was about to say, does he wear tinted lenses, but he wears sunglasses? Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Ooh, I, saw, I saw something I wasn't supposed to see, too, about Stevens. You know, at the end, when they show little shots of what the episode yeah. played? 
they showed stuff from the other episode that apparently <gasps> that, that I missed didn't it, play. but I have it recorded. So I'm gonna have to go ooh, back and watch it. What was it? Ooh ooh ooh! Oh, it was Flute Girl getting in Steven's grill, and you know we've been seeing them kind of, you know. Uh, mm, mm, I, yeah, we'll see. I don't so know. Gonna... It just sounds like the shipper Wait. goggles. Oh, we'll wait. No. Oh gosh, you had to see. All right, see I will it. see it. Because Ryan wanted it back. They're not very subtle. This show isn't very subtle. It's not. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Look how many friends I have. <laughs> oh my god, that whole scene, Randy oh, being grossed out by the chickens, is my favorite thing. It, I was so happy. Even Randy as the ninja being grossed yes. out was really awesome. It was like, like him backing up into a corner. <laughs> Yeah, it's really interesting because normally Randy as the ninja is basically fearless, like to the degree of stupid, but <laughs> th it was really interesting that they tried to use, like, the weaknesses of the human inside the suit, which are very evident, uh, oh, to beat the so ninja. Which, yeah, I, I like that. I like that as well. Oh, what was Which actually makes me want to... Oh, okay, you go. Go. No, you go. Oh, go. Okay. <laughs> That's actually something that's interesting to me. In the opening spiel, he says, every, nobody knows that every four years a new warrior is chosen, okay? It's not really evident to me that it's understood by the overall Norrisville population that the ninja is a student at the school, and especially not when this, this new, new student, that's obviously not known every four years, but that this ninja is a student at all. And... I don't know. Do you, do you think it's evident that they know? That, do they know it's a student or not? I'm pretty sure they know it's a student. I don't know if he says no one knows. I just think it's a fact that every four years. Well, I've... no, he said no in the opening spiel. He actually says, but uh, Norse has been protected by a ninja, but no one knows every four years any warrior is okay. chosen. So I, 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 that was always kind of interesting to me because it's definitely evident that McFist and Viceroy know it's a student. But I, it's not really that clear to me if that's, like, general knowledge. That's a good question. There, you, you don't... I don't know. That is a good question. You, you can't... I can't tell. <laughs> but that... I, I guess that was sort of... I, I was reminded of this by the fact that, like, McFist and Rice were, are very aware that it's a kid in a suit, or at least a person in a suit, who has fears to be exploited, as opposed to, like, basically a mascot slash weapon... Uh, and yeah, and and thinking about, I'm thinking about all the times they have encountered him in past episodes, even with um, the one Halloween episode where he's sitting in the back seat of the car and Vice Yes, oh my he's, god, that was he felt, He's so painfully a student. He's so cute. He's so, he's so little. He's so little. <laughs> he's very little. And, 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 and that worries me how they can change from trying to murder this kid. And then, he, I mean, it's. It's pretty interesting. So, yeah, I, about the students, you don't really get to see a lot of students talk about the ninja other than flaunting over him while he's there. You know, like, oh, the ninja. He was super kawaii in this episode, too. Yeah, oh, God. He's, he was so cute. <laughs> I can't stand it. Like, oh, you know how I am. Like, Randy in pain slash or, the, you know, like, pain or fear or whatever. He's a little, sh <laughs> he's a little shyster. He is he really Deserves it. I hate him. Oh, oh destroy Randy Cunningham. Destroy. I was so <laughs> destroy angry. the ninja. I was so angry when he began hugging the chickens. Like after, he, <gasps> and he was like, he, like it, it reminds you of, of a gif you just see on Tumblr of like puppies running over a guy. I know. <laughs> oh my god. And it, at first it was like, ew, he's super grossed out. But then it was like he was actually getting like into it. And it's like we're all f so many. Look how many friends Come I have. I was like, oh. No. Like, like not like I'm I'm like deadly afraid of them, but like hugging a chicken, holding a chicken is like crazy. Yeah. It's like we're gonna have my eyes out. Yeah. I'm so fun this episode. This episode. Okay. He got open. Do you have any closing thoughts? Because oh. I think the parents are gonna shut me down. Okay. Uh, let's noise. see. Let's see. I really, really, really love. 
We've officially gone on longer than the actual episode. Oh, All right. okay. My uh, uh, finishing thoughts. What I have written down is I really, really loved the animation when he was falling. Okay, first of all, when he fought, fell out of the flying whatever, Mick, Mick whatever, all of the debris falling, yeah. all of the, that could have hurt someone. I was really concerned about that. Because... Um, <laughs> Oh, yeah, at least, like, eight yeah. people died in this like, episode. Like, this seriously, is the death count, the death toll in Norseville. Anyway, that was a really yeah. good animation when he saved himself from falling because, uh, the ninja can't fly, so we all can't forget that, so. Yeah. Uh, except for the ninja yeah. art of flying. That's, like, season eight or whatever. They <laughs> just run out of shit room. For- okay. Oh crud. Okay, We're last thing. Last All thing. right. I am so mad, Howard. What? What about his fear? He was like, yeah, I think yeah. Howard is fearless. Yeah, that was really upsetting. It's like, well, we didn't get to see Howard's, and then it's like they threw in that like, they oh, are, they are hiding about Howard. Out of food thing. I'm mad. That's they are the shielding same. Howard for a That's reason. The They're not showing us a lot about Howard, and I love Howard so much. So I'm like, yeah, he seemed a lot chiller in this episode. I mean, he had that one little outburst at Randy's, like, oh, we have yeah, no, you ruin our lives. Ruin our life. And I guess it was because for once he wasn't ruining their lives with being the ninja. It was just a Randy yeah, thing. Yeah, a Howard Randy thing like. that he's probably encountered before and doesn't remember. So yeah, that, I, I, I. I you remember? Okay, well thought. thank you. Right, awesome. Go. Thanks for listening, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Way to Norseville.